welcome back to my channel! Welcome back to my channel! <laughs> Uzi's down here. Oh, Baba. Hey, Baba. Hey, Baba. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Are you excited? You know, I'm pushing out the content. Y'all been asking. So I'm delivering. Today, we cannot be in my closet because it's a lot going on and I'm not. I'm not touching bases with my my closet right now. It's a lot going on. But y'all see, I did a thing. How do y'all love it? How do y'all like it? Let me give y'all 360. This is not a hair video. Oh, I hope y'all seen that. But get into her. Anyways, so Sorry for the bad lighting. It's nighttime. I didn't expect to record this at this time. But whatever, we're gonna get into the video, which is about Mintiaga Mini Le Cagoli, which ref which goes for which retails for about thirteen hundred dollars or whatever. I got mine on forward and I did like I always say use the 10% code off so it roughly around me like 12 1250 um I'm really trying to figure out if this bag was worth it because when I got it first of all it didn't come with no box it just came with this duster bag and it came in this beautiful lavender color and I specifically got it because I wanted to get these shoes that I'm going to show you next. Um, let's, I might as well. This, she is super mini. Like, I love a mini bag. I'm a mini bag kind of girl. But I'm just like, for $1,300, you all are OD. This is, <laughs> this is not worth $1,300. Like, I'm like debating, hmm. Should I, after wearing this, return it back to them? Cause this ain't it, honey. So you guys tell me in the comment section below if you guys feel like it is worth this. And it just, is it real? It gives me, I don't know. I never really liked this bag, first of all, anyways. So i don't know i just seen it for a look like because i'm into right now doing like a really fit i want to do it like a really vintage type of look so i was like this would be fire with some i wanted to do some vintage efezus but i cannot find the efezu that i really want and i have a short attention span but back into the bag y'all gonna tell me down below if you guys feel like this bag is worth thirteen hundred dollars. I personally feel like it's not, and they're about to get this back. Unless y'all got ready. What am I gonna fit in this? Um, it just give me like I could get a dupe of this for a cheaper price and literally like be okay with that. But as you can see here, it comes with two straps. It comes with this long strap, which I barely probably put everywhere um quality's okay um <laughs> and it comes with the chain cute 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 let's unzip her let's undress her inside it comes with the authentic authentication tag whatever whatever i feel like somebody wore this and they just repackaged it up for me. I'm guessing, I don't know what this is. This was also 
let's do the let's do the youtube thing this was also inside um inside her let me get into details with y'all inside her you have Balenciaga tag right here in the lavender. You have a pocket where you can fit, I guess, your cards and your ID. And there you can fit your phone card is inside, which I'm guessing they took. They took the zipper part. Cute. Screams. <clears throat> Balenciaga. Like, I need to get it. Like, mm, it's an okay bag. So, I actually bought these bad boy off of balenciaga literally i want to say i want to say i bought it yesterday and it's here already today let me tell y'all when i bought these literally y'all can see it can y'all see what it says yesterday literally bought these yesterday and they're they're here <laughs> they're here impeccable shipping like what one day huh? Balenci, Balenci, Balenci <laughs> these are the Balenciaga croc pool slides so inside you get your card with your information and then inside you have all this wrapping paper and shit you get your authentication <laughs> the bad boys are inside so I already tried one foot one, so I'm going to let you guys know. So, inside, you see your shoes. Let me see, let me see, let me see. So, like I said, these are the Balenciaga Croc Pool Slides. And they are in this lavender as well. Um, really freaking cute. I got a size... 36 which i knew i should have got sized down because people were saying that in france and this i think these are in front france sizing that is 36 is actually a seven so this actually fits like a seven to me um my feet are short but they're wide so if you have short feet like me i would actually size down because they don't do half sizes i would size down because these are a little bit big in the back so i'm considering returning these actually or exchanging them for the size that i need but i also bought some crocs that i think that i'm gonna bedazzle out honestly so i wanted to see if i really wanted these to keep these or did i want to go with the crocs for the look that i'm going for but they're super freaking cute when I first seen these, I was like, mm, they're all right. But the look that I'm going for is going to be like a retro Y2K kind of look. So I feel like, you know, this will fit the aesthetic. The bag will fit the aesthetic going together, you know, with some nice cute shades on. I will show y'all how it look on my feet. My feet aren't done right now. But whatever so let's get into the details so of course you have that croc skill they are clogs they are clogs so you're really giving that irish <laughs> that irish girl feel you feel me this beautiful lavender all across on the sole it just has this these grooves and stuff it says balenciaga right here and it says made in china designed with collaboration with crocs right here so they give them their credit on the back heel it says 36 right there on the side you have like the classic croc grooves where you would put with um gidgets but you know on the top along the strap area you have Balenciaga engraved right there and it gives it like a little bit of more room and then you have the open toe um, on the inside of the sole you have those classic crop grooves um, I don't know why they do that but whatever and then you have Balenciaga right there and right there 
so let me take let me put these on for you guys so you guys could pretty much see how they would look on my feet and what i mean by you should probably size down Don't mind the toes. The 36 kind of works. It works. It works. It works. So, it's just like sometimes. No, but it works. Alright, so that is it for me for this review on the Balenciaga Le Coq Le. I hope I'm saying it right. Le, Le, Le Coq Le Coq. Maybe I should stop getting things that I cannot pronounce. Hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, this. I hope you guys enjoyed the review on this bag. You guys let me know down and below if you have this bag. If you like the bigger bag i think the bigger bag makes more sense right instead of the mini one the mini one don't make no sense i gotta check it out because i really don't like the bag regardless <laughs> like i don't like the big bag and i definitely don't like the mini bag but i don't know i'm debating i'm still debating so you guys give me some insight below on how do you guys feel about these items should i keep is it a w is it l Hmm. Now let me know in the description in the comment box down below. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to anybody that or that are inquiring about these items and that just wants to see my beautiful face and my new cut and my new color. Hmm.